Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a video showing you how to enable hidden features in Google Chrome. So ordinarily you have the, the normal settings page, so you can go through, change your home page, your search engine, that kind of thing. However, if you know what you're looking for, there's some really powerful tools that you can unlock using Google Chrome. So the first is about flags, and now this goes for any of the things I'm about to show you. To get at them, all you need to do is type in about colon flags, or indeed whatever the name is, I'll have all of them show up as I show you the different pages. So the first one, like I said, is about flags. And what this is, is a whole range of different kind of experimental features that have not been announced or released for you know, general Chrome users. However, if you know what you're looking for, you can enable them and give them a shot a little early. So as you guys can see here, there are an absolute ton of these that do come in Google Chrome. Now some of them are really not helpful, some of them are kind of you know niche and stuff, but some of them are actually really cool. So take for example this, you can enable syncing open tabs. So of course, ordinarily with your Google account, you can sync through all your different computers and Chrome installations, you know, what you know, your bookmarks are, passwords, that kind of thing. However, with this enabled, you can enable your sync, uh, your open tabs. So, you know, if you have, let's say, one of my videos up on your computer right now and you have another computer running Chrome somewhere else, you can have the tabs synced so you don't have to go reopen a bunch of tabs, whatever you're looking at. So that's really some cool stuff. Uh, same thing goes, this is my personal favorite, is click to play. So ordinarily you either have to run all plugins, so Flash, Java, Silverlight, you name it, uh, or you can just have to have none of them running. But with this, you can, on any website you choose, you can have them not automatically load. So if you want to look at something, you can click to play, but otherwise it doesn't automatically load, you know, take up bandwidth and you know slow your computer down, all that kind of stuff. So there's some really cool stuff here. If you guys are interested, I definitely recommend taking a look. However, I do want to say that it is experimental for a reason. So expect you may have some crashes and whatnot, but if you do have any problems, you should just be able to disable whatever add-on you did and be good to go. Now the next one is going to be about memory. Now this is a little bit more geeky, but if you guys bear with me here, I'll tell you a little bit about it. What this is, is it's kind of like a task manager showing you what is taking up RAM, where, how, all that kind of good stuff. So as you guys can see, overall uh, Google Chrome is taking up about 250 megabytes of RAM right now, which isn't too bad. But let's say your computer is really slowing down, or you're having some problems, or you know some, some, something's not quite right. And if you think it's something to do with Chrome or whatever, you can just open up About Memory, and you'll be able to take a look and see what's the problem. So you can see here that all these different processes, so for example these tabs, these pages, extensions and whatnot. If you see maybe like one extension is taking up like a gigabyte of RAM or you know something's really out of the ordinary, you can kind of give you a good idea of how to diagnose it and close the program or whatever the offender is, you can take care of it. The next thing is about plugins. Now this is another one that is not always helpful, but in certain circumstances this can really be a lifesaver. So what this does is it gives you a little list of all the plugins that are installed and running in Google Chrome. So for one, this can take a look if you see there's anything like a program or whatever has installed something that you don't want. So I've actually found on a couple of occasions that there were plugins that I did not even know existed and you know had wanted to have no part of. So if you want, you see something you don't like, you can disable it. Or if you're having problems with something, you can take a look. So if you come over here and click details, it gives you a little bit more information. And one good uh, you know kind of demo of this would be Flash. So ordinarily, you have actually two versions of Flash running on your computer with Google Chrome. So you have the normal one, which is automatically installed. If you have any other browsers, so Safari, Firefox, you name it, that's what all of the other browsers use. But Google Chrome has its own version of Flash, which comes pre-installed. And sometimes if you're having Flash problems, disabling one of these can actually help because they're, they're, some kinds can conflict and whatnot. Uh, so you know you can easily disable that or just see you know what version you're on, all that kind of stuff. So about plugins, another really helpful little thing. Now moving on here, we have the task manager, so it's going to be about tasks. And this one, it's very similar to about memory. What you can do is you can see how much memory each little you know tab and plugin and whatnot. You can see how much CPU, network. Uh, something I find kind of funny is it shows the frames per second on the page. So about flags is running at about 25 frames per second right now, which is you know very very intense stuff. But let's say you want to get rid of something, so we want to get rid of this tab. We can click in process. If you come over to that tab, it'll say up. Oh, crashed and yeah, you can get rid of it that way. Not really all that useful, but sometimes it might be a little helpful. Uh, now coming over here, uh, we also do have about about. So as the name implies, this is just a list of all the different about pages. Uh, now I pretty much went over most of the major ones. However, there are definitely some others that you guys might want to check out for yourselves. And if you want the full list and you can take a look at whatever you like, feel free to hit up about about in Chrome. 
Anyway, guys, it's going to be about it for my list of, you know, kind of hidden features in Google Chrome. Now, of course, there are definitely other, you know, hidden features in other browsers, and I will be taking a look at Firefox and perhaps some other browsers later. But hopefully you guys found this kind of helpful, learn some new features about Google Chrome. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more videos like this, be sure to subscribe.